Hi, hello! Welcome to Spell Day. We're covering spell every single day of the year from the 5 EPHB plus 3. Those plus 3 spells are homebrew spells. We're at plus 1 at the moment. We can back in the playlist to find it. Today's spell is the first of Morningkainen's Faithful Hound. Ba. Ba. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba, ba. Fourth level conjuration, casting time of one action, range of 30 feet, components verbal somatic material, a tiny silver whistle, a piece of bone, and a thread. Duration, eight hours. You conjure a phantom watchdog in an unoccupied space that you can see within range, where it remains for the duration, until you dismiss it as an action, or until you move more than 100 feet away from it. The hound is invisible to all creatures except you and can't be harmed. A small or larger creature comes within 30 feet of it. Without first speaking the password that you specify, when you cast a spell, the hound starts barking loudly. The hound sees invisible creatures and can seem to the ethereal plane. It ignores illusions. At the start of each of your turns, the hound attempts to bite one creature within five feet of it that is hostile to you. The hound's attack bonus is equal to your spellcasting ability modifier plus your proficiency bonus. On a hit, it deals 48 piercing damage. Can the dog move? So just bringing up, there is no uh, watchdog stat block. Which, come, uh, come on. <laughs> Come on, what is this spell? Why would you cast this? Why would you cast this? Again, the initial stuff is not that bad. Even the material components aren't spent, nor do they have initial gold cost. And it lasts eight hours. That's enough time for a rest, which is what this is likely designed for. But you have things like Lehman's Tiny Hut and Alarm <laughs> that kind of do its job better or at least for cheaper, or more efficiently. This is essentially a bouncer spell. You're setting this up at a door that you're not gonna get away 100 feet away from. It's literally a watch, you're summoning a watchdog. That's what you're summoning. The issue is the watchdog only has a range of 30 feet. You gotta say a passcode, then it starts barking. Almost like the audible horn from alarm. The big one is though that it can see through the ethereal plane, which is pretty nice, but I don't know how many creatures are coming through the ethereal plane to get you, but there might be a few. Also, it sees through illusions. That one's pretty good. But you can't use it for anything outside of seeing invisible creatures and disguised creatures trying to sneak up to again where you're resting, because it doesn't move, nor does it communicate anything else outside of barking when an enemy's nearby. Again, if it could move, like, especially because you can only see it. Like, if you could summon this companion and it follows you for eight hours and you have like a 30 foot radius. So, like, if you're heading into a place or walking around town and there's someone trying to sneak up on you, yeah, that'd be great. That wouldn't quite work because of the code phrase situation, but I mean, it doesn't move anyway, so this is all hypothetical. It sits there and is a watchdog with a 30 foot radius around it. You can't move 100 feet away. Spell ends. But it's the fact it's fourth level. That, that's what's hurting this compared to Lehman's Tiny Hunt, which also guarantees protections. Protections, or as close to it. Well, it doesn't guarantee, but it is really efficient at protecting. Especially because Lehman's is a ritual. I'm, I'm comparing this to Lehman's because they're both fulfilling very similar roles, and so does Alarm. As in, those are the rest spells, or the rest security spells. And this is just worse. Like, oh, good, it has an attack. It can't move, so the creature has to be standing right next to it. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So something dumb you can do is find an enemy, uh, have them bound, or fall into a pit trap. Put the dog at the bottom of the pit trap. It's a hostile creature within five feet of the hound. Uh, the hound now has eight hours to spend every action trying to hit it and dealing 48 every time it hits. So we have a rabbit dog pit. That's a... Uh... That's a category this spell fills that the other two don't. There's just other spells you can use that are cheaper and more efficient, especially because the other two are rituals and already lower level. Fourth, it's the fact fourth level is not worth this. And it's weird, anyway. Um, one. I don't want to get it but one, because it can still look through, but two, two, because it does, it can see and pick things up that some of those other spells can't. Wait, Alarm doesn't care about sight. I guess this picks up the ethereal. There's a code word. Hey. One. One. I've never seen this in any of my games.